When JFK was in the White House, America was strong, healthy, and full of energy, free from today's epidemic of chronic disease. Since then, illness has skyrocketed, draining our vitality. Let's make America healthy again. JFK was in the White House in the early 1960s. Since then, we've actually improved health in a lot of ways. You see these really thick bars, the most predominant causes of death in the early 1900s? These were infectious diseases, tuberculosis, pneumonia, caused by bacterial infections and influenza, respiratory viruses and viral diseases, and gastrointestinal infections. These are all gone from our causes of death in the US today. And that's because of vaccines, sanitation, water treatment, antibiotics, the ability to do surgeries in aseptic environments, blood transfusions. Today, we deal with mostly diseases associated with aging, heart disease, things like atherosclerosis, heart blockage, cancers, and cancers are hundreds of different diseases with a median age of onset of 60 years old. So when we were dying in our 40s and our 50s, we were not living long enough for cancers to even develop. And then we're also dealing with accidents as a leading cause of death. When were we healthy in these people's estimation? When life expectancy of humans was 47, 31% of those deaths were in children under five? Well, that was what it was like in the 1900s. Penicillin, the very first antibiotic, was not available until 1945. So it might be really appealing to romanticize back in the day, but the reality is we're living longer, healthier, more vital lives today than we were when JFK was in the White House.